Hi Jennifer, how are you? Just gonna go live on Facebook now guys, so just give us a sec. Hi Carla, how are you? Hi Rose. Oh my god, the record. Where is that? And you know, once again, all the value of our the chin in. That's great, guys. from Galway, hi Marion, Facebook, there she goes, hi Sylvia, there she goes, so we're going to start in three minutes guys, just in case anyone, just for anyone later watching the back, we'll start in three minutes, so you can forward and on. Guys, make sure you have your water with you as well. It's a warm enough day, even though it's been raining, it's still quite warm. So make sure you have your water. So if it goes well, let us know where you're watching from in the comments and stuff. It's great to see. Hope you're all not too tired if you tuned into corner class earlier. It's always a tough little circuit, so this will be a good bit easier. Just all seated work, guys. I'm going to be just working through the full body emotions. Mary, hello. Anne, Brida. Henry, hello. Audrey, perfect. Good. So we'll give it one more minute and then we'll get started. Mary, Egg, perfect guys. Check the numbers, tune in, it'll Okay. 
Okay guys, we'll get started now anyway. It's nice and easy, just back up in your chair to start off with. Guys, we're gonna start with our head today. So nice and slow, we're gonna go nice and slow with all movements today, nice and relaxed, nice and chilled. So with our head guys, you're gonna go slowly up towards the ceiling, lifting it up, and slowly down towards your chest. So you're slowly lifting your head all the way up, and then slowly down towards your chest. Big stretch up with your neck as much as you can. And then back down. So all the movements go is nice and slow. So you're feeling the movement all the time. Stretching down as much as you can. And then back up. Great stuff. Excellent, guys. And now I want you with your head, you're going to look over your right shoulder as far as you can. Big stretch. And then slowly go across to your left shoulder. With your neck, you're going over each side, nice and slowly. And back the other. So as slow as you can, just going as far as you can each side. And then you're coming back the other way. So just kind of warming up our neck muscles. Just getting our neck engaged, nice and slowly. So guys, we're going to do one more each side. Over on the right, and over on the left. Great stuff, well done. We're gonna move on to our shoulders now, this goes for me. With your shoulders now, I just want you to roll them forward for me. So just roll in your shoulders forward. So as much as you can, roll in the shoulders forward. Just getting them moving. Excellent. Good, rolling on them forward. Great stuff, three, two, and one. Very good, I want you to put your right hand on your right shoulder. And now you're gonna do circles with your elbows going forward to start off with. So just getting our shoulders nice and loose. We'll be doing a bit of upper body work today, so working our arms and shoulders on our back. So just kind of Trying to get them warmed up. That's it. Very good, guys. And now go the opposite way with them. So opposite way now. Just getting their full motion of your shoulder. Trying to get the elbow moving in the circles. Even if you can't get your hand to your shoulder, just focus on getting those circles with the elbow. And only go as much as you can. So on three, two, on one, very good guys, you're gonna swap over left hand on left shoulder, and you're gonna do circles going forward. So again, just making sure you're getting circles with that elbow, as much as you can, and be careful not to hit it, hit it off the chair. Great stuff. Very good guys. And now I want you to go the opposite way. away now. Super stuff. Getting them moving. Good. Three, two, and one. Very good guys. Well done. What I want you to do now is hold your hands in your chest. I want you to do a big push out for me. I'm back in. So hands kind of flat and then you're pushing out guys. See if you're kind of pushing someone away from me. So nice and forceful push out, and then back into your chest. So pushing out as if you're pushing someone away, someone you don't like, you're giving them a big push away, and then back in. So on, just to get your arms moving, you're pushing out, and then back in. So nice forceful push out. Excellent. Five more, four, Three, two, and one. Very good. Relax, guys. Just with your right hand, I want you to hold it out for me. I want you to touch your thumb along each finger, just on your right hand for me. Just going to check everything's okay. Hi, David. Super stuff. I win. 
Francis, Don, Hi Helen, Nikki, excellent. That's it, guys. So right hand touching your thumb along each finger, going forwards and backwards with it. And once you have it, guys, see how quick you can go with it. Hope you can see it there. It's quick you can go with it. See you can you go quicker than me. Well done. And we're gonna swap over. So left hand now, touching your thumb along each finger. Each finger touching your thumb along each finger, going forwards and backwards with it. And once you have it, see how quick you can go with it. You can have a little race with your neighbour. Well done. Quick as you can. Excellent. Three, two, and one. Very good, guys. And relax. Just want to shake out both hands now. Just shaking them out. So if you're drying them off, just shaking both hands out. Very good. So then, guys, three, two, and one. Very good. Hands across your chest for me. You're gonna have your feet flat on the ground, shoulder width apart. I just want you to lean forward in your chair as far as you can down. Great stuff. Lean forward nice and slowly. And then back down. Great stuff. Lean on them nice and slowly. That's it. So nice and slowly. So you feel the movement, guys. So you feel it all the way down. And then back up and Important guys, to only go as far as you can. And then back up. Great stuff. Nice and slowly down. Back up. Three more. Three. Two. And one. Great stuff, guys. Well done. What I'm going to get you to do now is you're going to hold your hands together. So you're going to have your elbows out kind of even to your side, just kind of shoulder width. And I just want you to twist the top half of your body to the right side. Nice and slow with this movement, guys. And then slowly over towards the left side. So keeping your arms up nice and high, locked together. And you're just twisting over to each side. It's important to go really slowly with this movement, guys. And only go as far as you can. So this is working your upper back. You should feel it towards upper back, top of your shoulders is where you should feel it. And you're going slowly over each side. So you're stretching over to just the top half of your body. You should be feeling it. Well done. Excellent, guys. We're going to do one more each side. One. And one more the other side. And two. Excellent, guys. Well done. We're going to work the lower back now a tiny bit. So you're going to put your hands together like this for me. That was nice and loose. And you're just going to go again, just lower down, twisting over to the right side. Nice and slow again. And then twisting over to the other side. Twisting over. So this is working your back, guys. So really important to go really slow with these movements. So you're really feeling them. Twisting over as far as you can. Done. Two more on each side. Just a moment. Slow as you can with this. Great stuff. And then one more each side. Good and relax. Great stuff, guys. Well done. That's a good one for your back. Just loosens it up. Get to go. Because what I want you to do now, you're gonna put your hands on top of your legs for me. Just kind of your hip slash thighs area, and I want you to slide them down as far as you can. So sliding them down, and then back up. So sliding them down. And back up nice and easy. Sliding them all the way down. And then back up. Only go down as far as you can, guys. And then 
and you're bringing them back up. Should just work and stretching down as well. Great stuff. Two more. Done. And one more. And relax. Well done. Last one with the upper body just to warm it up and now move on to the lower body. Hands together for me. And now I want you to bring your arms back as wide as you can. So you want to try and get those arms back as much as you can. Once you reach that point, guys, we're just going to hold it for three seconds. Three, two, and one. And back out. So holding your hands together. And then reaching back wide as you can, stretching back, pushing back behind you, and hold it there for three, two, one, up again. Last one will do. This is a just big one for your shoulders, all the way back, stretching those arms back behind you, and hold it there for three, two, one. And relax, guys. Well done. That's a good one. So we'll move on to lower body to warm it up now. So guys, I just want you to lift your right knee up in the air. Put both hands on your right knee. And we're going to just focus on doing circles with our right ankle. So we're just going to focus on doing circles with our right ankle. So you're holding your knee up. And we're just doing circles with our right ankle. So it's kind of like you're painting with your toe, if you think about it that way. You're doing circles with that right ankle. Excellent, guys. And I want you to try and go the opposite way now. So go the opposite way with that ankle. So we're just kind of isolating the ankle now, working on getting it moving. You might find one way is a bit easier than the other. That's perfectly normal, guys. That's okay. Great stuff. Three, two, and one, and drop it down. You're gonna lift your left knee up now, hands on your left knee, and you're gonna do circles with your left ankle now. So again, you're just trying to get just your left ankle moving, and circles with it. You might find one foot's better than the other at this. One foot might be stronger. So on. And see, can you go the opposite way now? Opposite way with the ankle. I find this one a bit tricky. So on. So three, two, and one. And drop it down, guys. Great stuff. What I'm going to get you to do now is lift your right knee up towards your chest and back down to the ground. So sitting back in your chair, and you're driving that right knee up nice and high. And then back down. So as much as you can, getting that right knee up, driving it up, and then back down to the ground. Great stuff. Going all the way up with it, and then back down. Super. Excellent, guys. Keep going. Five more on this leg. Five, four, three. Two and one. Excellent. I'm going to swap over to our left leg now. Left knee up and back down. So you're lifting that knee up as high as you can and back down. Done. Just getting our legs nice and more. Done. So then five, four, three, two, and one, excellent. We're gonna get both legs going now at the same time. So both legs marching them up and down. Marching both legs up and down. As much as you can. Just to get them going. Great stuff. Super. A bit quicker now, guys. A bit quicker. See, can you get a bit more quickness in your legs? Picking it up a tiny bit. Marching the legs up and down. Keep going. 
And last five seconds, guys, as quick as you can. Last five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. And relax then. Great stuff, guys. Well done. You're nearly ready to take off in the chair. Great stuff. And I'm going to get you to do just a bit of a stretch one. And then we'll move on to the main exercises. So right hand up in the air for me, guys. And I want you to stretch down as far as you can towards your left foot. So big reach up. And then down towards that left foot. Big stretch down. And then back up. So big stretch down and then back up. Very good. All the way down and back up. Nice and controlled with this exercise, guys. So controlled on the way down and controlled on the way back up. That's it. Three more. Three, two, and one. Very good. I'm going to swap over left hand now. And you're going to come down towards your right foot. So big reach. And down towards your right foot. Big reach down. And then back up. Done. Excellent. Big reach down. And then back up. Great stuff. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent, guys. Well done. You can take a quick drink there for me now. Let us know in the comments with a thumbs up if you're nice and warmed up. Let us know that you got the heart rate up. And take a quick drink there, guys. Just going to take the comments quickly, just see, is everyone okay? Yeah, Eileen, Betty, good afternoon. Perfect, guys. Yeah, so everyone seems okay. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to alternate between our upper body and our lower body with exercises. So we'll do an upper body exercise, then a lower body exercise, then back up to upper, and then back down to lower. Okay? So we'll start off nice and easy for me. So what I want you to do, Put your one hand on top of the other, one arm on top of the other. And I want you to kind of do a circle with your arm for me. So you're gonna do nice and slowly circles with your arms. Done. So going down. And then back up. Excellent. So nice and slowly bringing the arms through. Saw this on one of the other trainers was doing this. Said it's like a washing machine, which is a good example. So they like a washing machine going circles around, nice and slowly. So you feel the movement through your arms, slowly down, and then slowly back up. It's on. So slowly bringing your arms around. And slowly back up. Great stuff. Very good. And just hold it there, guys. And I want you to go the opposite way now with your arms. So opposite way. Bringing it all the way up. Back down. So you're going slowly around. Bringing those arms up. So you should really start to feel it in your shoulders a tiny bit. So Slowly up, and slowly back down. Great stuff. Very good. Three more. Three. Done. Two. Done. And one. Done and relax, guys. Great stuff. You should really feel that on the top of your shoulders. You might feel them a bit tired, a bit, a bit burning, but that's what you want to feel there. So I'd say now you're working your shoulders there, guys. 
So next one we're going to do, move down to lower body now. So you're going to lift our left leg up in the air for me. Nice and straight. I want you to hold it there and point your toe back towards you. And we're going to hold it there at the top for five seconds. Are you ready? So five, four, three, two, and one. You're going to lift your foot out to the side to keep your leg up. You're going to bring it down so your heel touches the ground. We'll let it rest for one second. You're going to lift that leg back up, back into the center, and back down. Very good. So we're going to try that again, guys. So lifting your left leg up, point your toe back towards you. We're going to hold it there for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. One, you're going to bring your leg out to the side and bring your foot down. Well done. We'll let it rest for one, two, three, and we'll lift it up again. Bring it back to the middle, back down. Excellent, guys. We're going to do that one more time on this side. So lifting your left leg up, pull your toe back towards you, keeping your knee as straight as you can. Hold it there. For five, four, three, two, one. Bring your leg out to the side as far as you can. Back down to the ground. Rest it one, two, three, back up. Back in towards the center and down. Excellent, and rest that leg down. We're gonna do the same now, guys, with our right leg. So you're gonna lift your right leg up in the air. Pull your toe back towards you. Keep your knee nice and straight. And we're going to hold it there for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. You're going to bring your foot out to the side as far as you can. Bring it down towards the ground. Don't hold for one, two, three. Back up. Cross back down to the center. And back down. Very good, guys. Ready? We're going to bring it up again. Three, two, one. Lift it up. Pull your toe back towards you. Hold it there. For five, four, three, two, and one. And bring your foot out to the side. And then back down. So on, hold it there. And now we'll lift it back up, guys. Cross back to the center. Back down. Last time on this leg. Well done. Lift it up nice and high. Pull your toe back towards you. Hold it there. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your foot out to the side. Back down. Heel, rest for one, two, three, and back up. Cross to the center, and drop your foot back down. Well done, guys. You'll feel that in your thighs, up in your top muscles. You'll feel it up here. Well done. So we're going to move back up to the upper body now, guys. So I want you to do a sitting up nice and tall in your chair. You can kind of sit a tiny bit forward for me. What I want you to do is hold your hands out in two fists. So you're going to hold them up kind of shoulder height for me. You're going to pretend like you're rowing for me. And you're going to pull your arms back. So your elbows are going back behind your chest. So you're pulling all the way. Excellent. So pulling all the way back. And then pushing out like you're rowing up nice and high. So you're pulling back. You should feel a bit of squeezing in your shoulder blades, so kind of just do it side on so you can see, pushing back as much as you can. So you're getting those elbows back behind you. I know you can't see my head at the top, but that's it. So you're going back behind and then back down. So keep going, guys, like you're rowing about. Well done, sitting forward, pushing those elbows back. Done. You should be able to squeeze in your shoulder blades the top of them. Well done. This is a really good one for getting the arms moving, getting your shoulders activated. 
on. Go on, guys. We're going to do 10 more. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Very good, guys. Well done. Excellent. So we're just going to move down to the lower back a tiny bit now. So I want you to hold them out kind of lower. Elbows in by your chest. Sit forward on your chair a tiny bit again. So I want you to hold your arms out straight. So palms of your hands are facing the ceiling. And you're going to bring them back lower down. So you're going to pull your arms back behind your chest. Well done. As much as you can, pulling them back. So on. So again, palms of your hands should be facing the ceiling. And you're just working now the lower part of your back. So again, guys, you should feel it through your back. Nice and slow and controlled with the movements. Very good. Excellent. Working those that back. Pulling it all the way. Great stuff. Really start to feel it now. We'll go five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good, guys. Well done. Super stuff. Just sit back in your chair for this one now. So we're going back down to the lower body now. I want you to lift your right leg up in the air. And with your foot, guys, I want you to go down and back up, like you're doing cycling on a bike with one foot. So you're going kind of like circles down and back up, like you're pressing down on a pedal. That's it. We try and lift our tie up off our chair if we can. So this one, guys, is working the top muscle here. And done. So working along, pressing up and down. Great stuff. All the way down, back up. You'll start to feel it burning in your tie now. I can feel it in mine, so we'll go five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. And drop it down, great stuff. You feel that burn, and we're going to swap on to our left leg now. So lifting that foot up again, knee up off the chair, and you're going to pretend you're cycling your bike again. So nice and slow, true with the movement. Done. Like you're pushing a pedal on the bike. Well done. This is a real good one for strengthening your thigh muscles, guys. Strengthening them at the top up here. Pushing them through. Great stuff. If you need to, guys, you can hold the top of your leg. If you feel the need to, just give it a bit of extra support. Keep going. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, guys. Well done. And now I'm going to ask you to do both for you at the same time. Okay? So we've done the right, we've done the left, so we have to do both now. So give you your best shot, hands on the side of your chair, and you're going to go slowly with both feet. So cycling on that bike with both feet, hands on the chair, and you're pushing up and down. So, on. so again, try and do it nice and slow and controlled. I know it feels easy to go quick and fast with this, but it's much better to just do it slowly up and slowly down, so on, so working that, keep going, I know I'm feeling the burn now, keep going, five more seconds we'll do together, five, four, three, two, and one, and drop them down guys, well done, you can feel the legs really burning now, you can just kind of kick them out for me, just kicking your legs out, just kind of loosen them out. If you have your drink beside you, guys, just take a quick drink. Well done. So 
Excellent. Let's check out everyone's getting on. The comments can't wait. Excellent. Very good. How are you doing, guys? Everyone's still, still here, still alive, still moving. Doing excellent, guys. So we're going to move back up to the upper body now. We're back up to our hands. So, guys, this one's going to work in your full back this time. So, I want your feet shoulder width apart in the chair. You're going to have your hands together for me. I want you to bring them down in between your hands for me. So your hands are interlocked in between. And we're gonna go really slowly with this movement. So slowly you're gonna bring your arms up, nice and high. So stretching them all the way up. And then you're gonna slowly bring it down again. So stretching your arms all the way down. And then all the way back up. Stuff all the way down and all the way back up as far as you can. So you're stretching your arms all the way up, seeing can you reach that ceiling and then down. There you go, big stretch, super stuff all the way down. Back up, so you get a full stretch here on your back. Some nice and controlled, great stuff. Done. Two more for me. Very good. One more for me. Nice and controlled. Getting a full stretch. Excellent, guys. Well done. Super stuff. That's a really good one for your back. Get a good full stretch on your body. Great one for it. So we're gonna move now. We're gonna do kind of see the jumping jacks for me, guys. So this will be a tiny, tiny bit quicker. You should be well able for it. So guys, what I want you to do is put your feet together and your hands together like this. And you're gonna spread your arms and legs as wide as you can at the same time. So spreading those arms and legs as wide as you can. Well done. So getting them as wide as you can. Well done. So we're gonna start off nice and slowly with this, and then we're gonna get a tiny bit quicker with the pace of it. So just a tiny bit quicker. We're gonna get in three seconds. We're gonna get a bit quicker. Well done. Three, two, and one. And now we get a bit quicker with it, guys. Done. So, so you can get the arms and legs moving a bit quicker. Great stuff. Well done. Keep going. Great stuff. That's it. And now, guys, last 10 seconds as quick as you can. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Excellent, guys, and relax. Very good. So that's one just to get everything moving there. Well done. So we're going to go back up to the upper body now. So, guys, I want you to hold your hands out for me. So, palms of your hands are facing the ceiling. Hands out straight. You're going to come back and touch your shoulders. You're going to reach up above your head. Back down to your shoulders and reaching out in front. Well done. Back down, reaching up. Super stuff. Pushing out. So you're going back, touching your shoulders, reaching up. Come on back down, touching your shoulders, reaching out. All the way, guys. Well done. Great stuff. All the way. Big stretch. Make sure you're trying to reach up towards the ceiling as much as you can. All the way, big push, back down, out in front. Great stuff. All the way, big reach, down, back up. Five more. Well done. Five. Four, 
three, two, and last one, and one, and relax. Very good, guys. Just to shake out the shoulders, I just want you to do big circles with your left arm. So just kind of to loosen out your shoulder, big circles with your left arm. Very good, big circles. Done. Right arm, guys, big circles with your right arm now. Done. Just kind of loosen out your shoulder after that. Great stuff. Very good. And now both arms for me. Big circles with both arms. Great stuff, guys. Big circles with both arms. Great stuff. Three, two, and one. I'm relaxed. Well done. So, guys, what I'm going to get you to do, if you have your bottle of water or your TV remote or whatever household object, I just want you to place it beside your left foot, so on the outside of your left foot if you have one. If you don't, it doesn't matter. You're just doing the same kind of movement. So what I want you to do, guys, you're gonna lift your leg up, over, and then back in. So you don't have to have as big as bottle as me. My ball is quite big, but just to show the movement, guys. So you're getting that foot over and bringing it back in. So only go as high as you can, so on. Lifting it out and lifting it back in. So this is working your hip, guys. So let us know how you're getting on in the comments, guys. How you're feeling? If you're feeling tired, good. <laughs> Whatever. Big step over. Back in. Great stuff. So working that left side, getting that foot over and back in. You'll feel this kind of pinch at the top of your hip. You work in that hip. Only go as far as you can, and only lift your leg up as high as you can, and back into the center. Great stuff, guys. We're gonna do eight more on this leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One excellent, guys. Well done. You can just shift to your bottle or your TV remote or whatever household object you have onto the outside of your right, right foot, so the side of that right foot. And, guys, as well, if you put it further away, it makes it more difficult. If you put it closer, it makes it easier for you. So, if you want to challenge yourself, you can stretch it over there. But if you want to make it easier, just put it right beside your foot. But I'm sure nobody wants to make it easy. Well done, so go. Excellent, so stepping your foot over and back in. Great stuff. Getting a big step over and then back in. Very good. Stepping over and then back in. Great stuff much as you can stepping over and back in keep going very good excellent great stuff eight more eight seven six five four three two and one excellent guys well done you can take a drink from that water bottle after that one that's a good one real tough one on your legs well done you did well with that one guys so last one and then we'll do a couple of cool down exercises and then you'll be free for the rest of the day so guys i want you to lift your feet up in the air nice and high and we're just going to kick them up and down for me so sitting back in your chair, kicking your feet up and down. Well done. So kicking your feet up and down. Great stuff. Much as you can. And guys, we'll get the hands involved again. So 
hands spreading them nice and wide and back in so kicking your feet up and down spreading those arms nice and wide so as much as you can if you're sitting near someone be careful not to hit them with your arms or any household objects as well be careful you don't hit it with your arms so I'm kicking your feet up and down. Great stuff. Keep going. Excellent. So we'll go five more for me. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. And drop down, guys. Super stuff. Well done. So we're just going to do a couple of cool down exercises now, and then you'll be done. So guys, what I'm going to get you to do, just scoot forward on your chair for me. You're going to put your left foot out, so your heels on the ground, your toes pointed up. With your left hand, guys, you're going to go down as far as you can towards that toe. So if you can get that into your shin, guys, that's perfectly fine. And we're going to hold it there for five seconds. Five four, three, two, and one. Very good. You're going to swap over to your right foot now. Heel on the ground, toe pointed back. Right hand, go down as far as you can towards that toe. And hold it there. You'll feel this in the back of your leg, guys, in your calf and your quad. You'll feel it there. Hold it there for five, four, three, two, one, very good, back over on your left foot, hands down, left hand down, as far as you can, hold it there guys, five, four, three, two, one, last one, back over on your right side, right hand down, as far as you can, and hold it there, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. What I'm going to get you to do sit back up in your chair. I'm going to lift your right leg up, both hands, and you're going to pull your knee back towards your chest. I'm going to go as far as you can and hold it there. Five, four, three, two, and one. I'm going to swap across the left leg now, both hands on your left knee. Pull on it back towards your chest and hold it there. Five, four, three, two, one. Right leg for me. Back up again. Pulling it back towards your chest. See if you can get a little bit further this time. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. And left one now. Lifting it up. Pulling it back towards your chest. Holding it there, five, four, three, two, and one. And drop it down, guys. Right hand now. I want you to put it across your chest for me. Left hand, you're going to push your elbow. So you're going to have your arm out straight. You're pushing that elbow across. You should feel the stretch up here. You're holding it there for me, guys. Excellent. Five seconds, five four, three, two, and one. Great stuff. Left hand for me, cross your chest, right hand pushing it up, and holding it there for five, four, three, two, one. Right hand on top of your right shoulder, pushing your elbow up, Just stretching our hands, only go as far as you can. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. And you're going to swap across to your left arm now, left arm, left shoulder, pushing your elbow up. And hold it there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, guys. Well done. Can I get you to do last exercise, guys? Hands on your stomach. You're going to take a big deep breath in and out. So big deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. 
Big deep breath in. And out. 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 Two more big deep breaths in. And out. Last one, big deep breath in. And out. And relax, guys. Give yourselves a big clap today. Well done. Big clap, guys. You did very well today. That was a tough session. Well, kind of tough for us. Easy in parts and then tough in others, but you did very well. Worked all the muscles in your body. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Just to remind you as well about our, our selfie competition. So, guys, if you've seen our post on Facebook, you take a picture of yourself before, during, or after the exercise classes and send it in on any one of our posts. We're running a competition to get a one-on-one. -on -one. You can win a one-on-one -on -one session with a trainer of your choice in your own home during the week. I'm be announcing the winner of that in a couple of days. So get them sent in, guys. Great to see. As well, guys, thanks for tuning in today. And as well, if you have any questions in the comments about any exercises or if you have any problems or anything, any body parts, just put them in and we'll try and best to answer them back. Thanks very much for tuning in, guys. And I'll definitely probably see you again in the next few days. So thanks very much. Perfect, guys. Bye, Facebook. Guys. And YouTube, guys. Bye, back group. You're working very hard here in Milltown. Thanks very much. Thanks, Rose, Marie, Jennifer, and Helen. Hope to all see you back in Ballybrack soon, guys. Thanks very much.